it is a great pleasure that i welcome dr jaydeep who is rank 1 in neat ss surgical group and i'm extremely happy because he is not just a surgical student but he's a very very good friend and uh, i'm delighted i don't know about jaydeep how happy he is but i can assure you that i am extremely happy today uh, so welcome jaydeep how do you feel uh, first of all thank you so much sir i'm extremely delighted to have a conversation with you this is the moment i have dreamed for last one year i have listened to many interviews many rankers and uh, i always dreamt of this thing that how it feels to give an interview and that to dr vinayak rangan sir it's my privilege and honor to giving this interview to the sisters thank, thank you, you so Jaydeep. much i think i think i think don't make it too formal uh, we have been friends for such a long time right now uh, i don't think you should make this uh, a very formal interview so jaydeep tell me about yourself uh, tell the stu- tell the students who are watching uh, more about um, where you did your mbbs where you did your gym surgery and the entire journey to surgical oncology yeah yes yeah, so uh, i am a batch 2013 i did my mbbs from grant medical college mumbai then in 2019 after pass out i uh, cracked neat pg and joined mulana azhar medical college in ms general surgery so after ms general surgery uh, i did my senior residency and during my first attempt of neat pg 2022 i secured a rank of 182 so that was not enough and uh, i decided to drop and uh, give it another shot so that's the entire journey and uh, this year i was able to crack it thanks to the such test and dr vinayak sir so uh, october 2022 uh me and you were on the phone if i remember yes. right <laughs> and uh you had gotten a rank of 182 in neat ss which is an incredible rank and at that point of time you decided not to take up surgical oncology tell me more about that sir uh, it has some personal reason to that and uh, so my elder brother uh was diagnosed with osteosarcoma of bones i was at fifth standard at that time so that hospital has a uh, uh, value to us as a family member and so i was a part of it as an attendant with my brother so definitely uh i want to dedicate my career surgical oncology to my brother and that's why uh, tata memorial hospital and that's why uh, i decided to give it a crack i i uh, this tear story brought tears to my eyes at that point of time and still brings tears to me but um, mm-hmm. jaydeep i think uh, i think uh, at that point of time when everyone was telling you not to quit they called you a fool if i remember you told yes. the exact words and i remember a lot of people telling you that also uh, you are a fool you still persisted and decided to get taka memorial and i think that this story is you know is worth making a movie on and and and, and i'm really touched uh, because because every person has a own reason for doing what they are doing a person who is taking surgical oncology or urology or pediatric surgery they all have their reasons for doing what they are doing and i think uh, uh, it's a, it's it's a very inspiring story uh, jaydeep and i'm i'm not like a friend or a teacher or anything like as as, a, as an elder brother i can i want to say that uh, uh, this is this is inspirational this is this is the stuff which dreams are made of you know and uh, I, i i wish somewhere over there your brother is watching and uh, he is happy about the entire journey so, uh, it's it's great uh, jaydeep uh, yes. i I'm, i'm i'm i can't I, i i don't have words to talk about this and uh, one more thing i would like to add sir at that time also uh, i was in a bit of confusion whether to take or not whether to take or not a bit of confusion at a time of counseling everybody faces that and i can like very few people back me like my few friends and i would like to specially mention you that you told me on phone that after the discussion your words stick with me tata chahiye tata milega but the only condition is that after getting a rank next year you will call me first <laughs> so that thing stick to with me and uh, you also told me to be in touch during the uh, preparation so i used to disturb you i know that every no, month no 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 not at all after... i think we, we had interacted multiple i think we used to interact yeah. at least once a week we used to talk yeah. or text and and i think i think 
I don't know if I I actually played a role, but I I think we just helped you fine tune what you had already learned and read and everything. So I think the entire credit goes to you uh, more than anyone else. I would say. Thank you, sir. Great, ah, uh, great. So, ah, uh, Jerry, you spoken about your inspiration. Why you wanted to do as uh, uh, surgical oncology at Tata Memorial? Ah, uh, tell us more about your preparation and the role which surgeons played in your preparation. Uh, so as i have discussed with you so you asked me to do swot analysis so strength and weakness so last uh, neat i had three weaknesses one thing was i didn't uh, read sabistan much second i didn't do the revisions properly third i didn't do the mcqs properly so only one one read was given so the main focus during this preparation time was that these three mistakes will not be repeated during the second so the entire planning was based on that that equal amount of focus will be given of reading the textbooks equal amount of uh, attention will be given to listening to the surge test videos and solving mcq practice a 100 day mcq uh, thing which you told me it's actually a game changer in initial time it didn't appear like after solving 50 mcq our mind gets uh, stuck at some point but uh, the solving 100 mcqs per day it really boost me and in the long term it gives me confidence that i can solve paper in time and even if it's a difficult that i can attempt the paper so that is one thing i really like about that second thing uh, the additions change of bailey and Lowe, that was difficult to cope up with but again such so test idea of uh, having daily bailey chapter discussing updates were discussing according to that the rhythm and the schedule was planned so i just went with the search test and results are there for everyone great jadeep i think um, i think one point which i should emphasize to students who are watching this is that consistency is a key and uh, where jadeep i have given this advice not just to jadeep i have given this advice to a lot of people the most important thing is do your strength weakness analysis which area you are lacking because there is no one size fits all someone might be solving a lot of mcqs but they might not be reading textbook someone might have read bailey but they may not have read sabistan and someone might have read sabistan but they might have ignored uh, bailey so you will have to decide where you are going wrong uh, there is no one size fits all when you are preparing for any competitive exam not just neat ss uh, the second point is that showing up is winning if you show up every day and solve 100 mcqs a day which means that you are already on the path for getting a top 100 rank and i can assure you after having talked to hundreds of students that you don't it is very difficult to be a great surgical oncologist or a gi surgeon or an excellent person in any field if you lack consistency in whatever you are doing and please make sure all students that you are able to put in that effort of solving 100 mcqs and you will have to steal time and i mean steal time some of you might be working so on the way to work Uh, if you're using a bike, make sure you take an auto or or or, or the train so that you have time to solve about 15 MCQs. If you're coming back, solve another 15 MCQs between cases. Solve 15 MCQs, and and I think uh, uh, this is the concept which you know our old prime minister now, Dr. Jawaharlal Nehru, told. You know, they asked him, "How do you read so many books?" And he said, "I manage to steal time." And stealing time is the biggest challenge which every aspirant faces. and you will have to do that you will have to be consistent you will have to solve 100 mcqs a day you will have to keep attending the lectures you will have to uh, keep watching at least i don't know if you remember but i told you watch about one hour of video every day before sleeping when you're tired at the end of the day yes. you don't want to you know read a textbook you can't read a textbook but a video is just like watching a movie sometimes you may not even register the points but that audio audio uh, audio visual reinforcement learning happens continuously and that is extremely key to securing the top rank and that is what differentiates the great people from the good people so i think uh, jd best explained how we did and jd uh, how many hours a day did you study especially during the last few months uh, so i was working as a senior resident in mamsik so uh, last two months i took a break and uh, before that i used to uh, study from 6 to 2 almost 6 to 8 hours i used to get and uh, after uh, leaving the job i was able to do 16 hours a day 14 to 16 hours a day and uh, when only on on an average but only on the 
like uh, if cricket matches is there on that day i was wasn't able to study <laughs> but mm-hmm. apart from that i was able to take time i think i think uh, this uh, this weekend has been extremely great for you you had uh, uh, india beating pakistan and uh, <laughs> also your uh, uh, rag result because jaydeep i think is a great cricket fan and i think yes. it's 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 pretty amazing what you have managed to do i am impressed buddy <laughs> so so yeah so jaydeep uh, i don't want to take too much of your time uh, uh, there are a lot of people waiting to party and celebrate with you but i just want to ask you only one uh, important thing uh, where do you see yourself what do you see yourself doing uh, 10 years down the line Uh, i see myself as a consultant at the prestigious institute tata memorial hospital and uh, whichever sub specialty i choose later i'll give my best great 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 uh jaydeep i think uh, it's been an emotional roller coaster over the past few months uh, you had to counter a lot of critics who kept uh, you know uh, uh, invalidating your decision uh, it has been tough trying to study along with a very busy senior residency i know ma'am she has been busy for you uh, and on top of that uh, you had to face your own personal demons whether you made the right choice or not you know whatever others say we also have that self doubt in us uh, whether we made the right decision maybe we should have taken earlier mm-hmm. last year itself why am i suffering right now and all those things you face and uh, i have only one thing to say uh, that you are a champion and you are an inspiration to all of us i am very proud of you and uh, i'm sure poor your brother who is watching up there is also proud of you thank you so much buddy i hope thank to see you so i know that you will join us as a faculty also very soon again <laughs> sure sir my pleasure and Great. sir one thing i would like to add uh, the interviews which you took like uh, the past past uh, who took surgical uh, oncology so they are also inspiration to us they are my seniors like for example dr grupit sir he also guided me during this preparation he has given me some tips and dr priyanka ma'am dr gautami ma'am they are all such uh, uh, students as well as they are my seniors so there always a role model is always there in such test hopefully i am able to be the role model for the students watching and uh, hopefully they will take up surgical oncology definitely buddy definitely i, I you are in inspiration to all of us and um, i have never i have never been touched so emotionally by any other story other than your own because i don't think anybody has gone down this path of you know quitting a seat because they wanted this particular institution and i think ultimately this is what dedication is all about this is what commitment is all about and uh, i am very happy for uh, anyone who is getting treated by you because i know at the end of uh, a few years uh, i they are going to be treated in the best of hands uh, thank you so much jaydeep thank you so much for uh, trusting such test thank you so much for believing in us also this uh, good students mean the world to me also thank you so much buddy thank you sir